since the camera's already up, we might as well do a couple of videos today. So recently, I got something in the mail. I was online um, feeling nostalgic. So I figured, why not stop by oldtimecandy.com and get some candy, get it delivered. So that's exactly what I did. <clears throat> Let me just show you what I got. Because honestly, when you're going down the oldtimecandy.com walkthrough and you're putting stuff in your cart, it's gonna be hard for you to remember what you bought. Cause there's so much good stuff on there. And there's uh, just, you know, a lot of the candy you can find pretty much anywhere, but they also have decade boxes. They have all this cool stuff that you just can't find anywhere. So um, let's open this bad boy up and see what I got. I already got rid of the box. I got this package right here. Hopefully camera number two. Hey, camera number two. Hopefully camera number two will be able to get all this stuff because I'm going to use this table and lay it all out. But first, I think I'm going to have a sip of my Powerade. Cleanse my palate. Perfectly cleansed. Uh, all right. Let's take our handy dandy DeWalt knife. Cut this bag open. Die bag, die. All right, here we go. Boom, Toblerone. Ah. Hmm. I don't know why I ordered that, have no idea. Strawberry Charleston Chew. Ah. I know exactly why I ordered that. Uh, very easy to find, I don't know why I ordered these either. Starburst, only the reds though, only the reds. <laughs> Slide that right there. Oh, this is, you know. As uh, producer Jim Fogarty would say, a health bar. He might be missing a letter, but I'm gonna go with his. Gotta keep the good health. Uh, apparently I really like Charleston Chews because I ordered two of them. Strawberry. Uh, there is a rumor of a banana Charleston Chew. I have yet to see if that is true or not. Is it a true chew? Banana? I don't know. I think they made it a million years ago, but uh, I've never seen one, I've never had one. All I've seen is strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Ooh. Got some single Twizzlers. Why? Because I just wanted individual wrapped Twizzlers. All right, this is, this is a great one right here. Carmelo. And of course, I know myself. Got two of them. Boom, I'm gonna put them on top of each other. Now, here's something you don't see every day. Let's see if I get them all. You know, kids of today, they might not have had this before, but they really should give it a shot. Yield Fun Dips. You got a little stick of candy, you, you lick it, you dip it in the little powdery substance, and you enjoy. So I got some uh, Raz Apple. Uh and some cherry yum. I'm just gonna do that. Looks like I got a lot of weird, I think I just got a lot of weird singles. Um, I did order something else that I can't talk about yet from Old Time Candy, and that's gonna come in later in another video. Uh, but the main reason I ordered from them, I was looking to do something nice, and I ordered something for someone else, and um, so all this extra was just extra stuff that I went through the aisle and, and grabbed it. But the main reason for uh, going to the old time candy was a gift I was getting for somebody else. Hopefully you'll see that in another video. All right, so here we got, I'm just gonna have to dump this out, man, because I got a lot of little things. And I like to go through it and show what I got. Couple of packs of Mambas. Nothing wrong there. I hope they're getting that camera too. Uh, Couple of little mini Skittles. Why not? I don't know, I think they're what, quarter? Sure, why not? There's another Twizzler that I found there. Uh, oh yeah, gotta have some of these. Gotta have some of these. The little baby sugar daddies. Ooh. Don't call me daddy. But you can call me sugar. <laughs> That was stupid. <laughs> I found it funny. 
Uh, how about some strawberry? I'm sorry, I'm still laughing at that. That was the stupidest thing I ever said, but it really made me laugh. Um, Laffy Taffy's. I only got the Laffy Taffy's that I like. Strawberry. Uh, I like the banana ones. I don't really, I don't really like the apple. Grapes, okay. All right, so let's see. I got some Smarties. Got to have your Smarties. Lots of stories about Smarties uh, that nobody cares about but me. You know what? You might. Do you like steak? Because if you like steak, you gotta love cowtails. That's when the steak's over. That's for dessert. These little things, I think they threw these in for no reason whatsoever. Oh, but this is actually cool. I never noticed this before. These are little um, peppermints. I don't think I ordered these. I think they just said, hey, let's give this dude a couple of free peppermints. But one cool thing about these peppermints that I've never seen, there's Bible verses on there. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. It just shocked me that there's Bible verses on the candy. I think that's really cool. Now we got Tootsie Pops. Uh oh, we got Tootsie Pops and then we got weird Tootsie Pops. Fruit chews and then regular. Why did I order those? Who knows? I don't even know why, but I did. So I'm just gonna place them here for camera B, camera number two. Stay away from these heathen Tootsies. Um, they don't have Bible verses on them. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna put right next to the Tootsie Pops? Couple of Tootsie Rolls. Boom, you got those right there. Now, a lot of people don't know about these, but the strawberry cream is the best. Chuppas. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Chuppa Chups. Bam. Very delicious lollipop. Then you also have the standard other pop that everybody likes, the Dum Dum. I eat Dum Dums and people know exactly why. <laughs> oh, another Tootsie. All right, last but least, a bit of honey. I don't want a lot of honey. I just want a bit. <laughs> I gotta put some, I gotta get some sound effects for some of these videos. Like just bad, bad sound effects. So hopefully camera two got this. So if you want to get some, uh, some candy delivered to your, your house, or if you wanna go up and down and look for some weird old candy, I know a lot of these aren't weird and old, but they have it. They have candy from, you know, uh, every decade. So you can get, um, you can get candy from the 1920s, 1930s. They're still making this stuff. So, you know, things like uh, wacky wafers. You know what wacky wafers are? Cause I do. Willy Wonka. They don't make them anymore, but they do here but you can't find them in stores so anyway this video is uh starting to get to the point where i am blathering on and like i said earlier in my cuba vera video i don't want to go like 20 minutes so you got to hanker for some candy oldtimecandy.com check it out see ya in the middle of this video how the reason I went to Old Time Candy was to actually get a present for somebody else and I didn't want to you know spill the beans so I kind of kept it to myself well the present that I got was a uh, decade box of candy from the 1980s and I was sending it to my brother because uh, he has a channel called uh, Gen X Playground I'm not sure if it's under Gen X Playground or Mark Tarrant either one you can look for and um I just thought it'd be cool because I wanted to do the, I wanted to undo it myself, but his channel is all about like Gen X, 80s, early 90s. So I thought it'd be really cool for him to do the video. So I sent him a decade box and it's up. 
And so the, the cat's out of the bag, he's got it, I don't have to worry about it anymore. But I just wanted to put this on the tail end of the video. If people are like, well, why are you talking about this? Well, I didn't want to say anything and I should have waited, but I wanted to get the video out there. So anyways, go to Gen X Playground, watch my brother unbox the 1980s um, old time candy decade box. I got some more things that I want to do in the future. Um, so yeah, just stick around. I hope you like the video, guys. Thanks, bye.